The United States of America is home to over 330 million people. We are a country known for freedom, justice, and opportunity. The American dream draws people from across the globe, bringing different cultures, traditions, and ideas to the fabric of our great nation. At the same time, there are individuals in the United States who seek to carry out acts of terrorism and violence against our communities and our country. Listen, I don't know if this is anything, but what I just saw looked really suspicious. Definitely out of the ordinary. I was in the parking garage underneath the federal building off 3rd and J Streets. It's not easy to put all the pieces together, and we don't expect you to. That's the job of law enforcement and intelligence analysts. But Homeland Security is a shared effort and responsibility for each of us. When you see things that just don't seem right, that seem somehow out of the ordinary, reporting what you've observed can be invaluable to the work of law enforcement and intelligence analysts in this shared effort. Acts of terrorism against the United States can be large or small, and we've all seen their horrific images on television or in newspapers. But terrorist acts don't happen spontaneously. Many require some form of planning. Before they strike, many terrorists watch and study their targets, gather information, test security, acquire funds and supplies, often through criminal activities, and rehearse or walk through their plans. To do this, they may create or change identity documents or badges and seek to obtain information about their targets. These changes or unusual interest in facilities or procedures can be indicators of terrorist planning. Any of what we call these precursor activities might be observable and reportable by a vigilant member of the public. You are in the best position to spot these precursor activities as you go about your everyday activities in your community. Now, it's important to carefully consider what you observe. Reporting suspicious activity should not be based on a person's race, religion, or gender but rather on behaviors that seem suspicious or out of the ordinary. So if you see something that just isn't right, report your observations to your state or local authorities so they can analyze it to identify broader trends. You should also know that the law enforcement personnel who receive and respond to these reports are trained to recognize trends, behaviors, and indicators related to specific terrorist threats and related crime while respecting privacy and civil liberty safeguards. State and major urban area fusion centers are focal points for the receipt, analysis, gathering, and sharing of threat-related information. 
Fusion centers have the unique capability to gather and receive information shared by both the federal government and state, local, and tribal stakeholders within their areas of responsibility. Further, through the standards, policies, and processes of the Nationwide Suspicious Activity Reporting Initiative, fusion centers can share information that has been determined to have a potential nexus to terrorism or other criminal activity. Partners at all levels of government work together to blend national intelligence with local, regional, and state information as appropriate to provide state and local context. This work often takes place at fusion centers, facilities where state and local governments can receive intelligence and information from the federal government and in turn share their information and intelligence with federal partners, assisting all homeland security partners in identifying and addressing emerging threats. If you observe something that might be a precursor to criminal or terrorist activity, take the next step and report it. Yeah, hi. I just saw the weirdest thing. I worked down at Ferguson Self Storage, and there were these two guys in Unit 1021. See your badge? Security? Hi, I'm up here in the nuclear medicine department. There was a person that I didn't recognize trying to access our radioactive material supply. Yes, they were wearing scrubs and a lab coat. Never take unnecessary risks or try to act as an official investigator when observing or reporting what you've seen. Your observations and reports can and do make a difference in helping to protect our country from terrorist activity and other crime when you share them with the right authorities. What you've seen here are only a few examples of events of how people like you can notice something you feel is suspicious or out of the ordinary and report it to their local authorities. Remember, if you see something, say something. Homeland security starts with hometown security, and we all have a role to play. Working together, we can all help secure our country. If you see something, say something. Always contact local law enforcement whenever you observe suspicious indicators or behaviors.